Let's take a look at our Doug Yates towing and recovery camera. A look at the Ridge Kite going in and out of downtown Chattanooga. And of course the North Georgia Toyota cam as well. Yeah. And on the upper right, the David Carnes cam. <laughs> yeah. Along with the North Georgia camera. You can't get better than that, can you? See the clouds overhead, but the clouds are starting to break up a little bit, as is the rain. We did have some decent showers east of Chattanooga. A lot of that beginning to break up now. And as we move through the evening, it's going to stay mostly cloudy. Low 80s eventually dropping down into the 70s. So with the showers ending, we're looking at ah, hot, muggy weather for the weekend. Low 90s both Saturday and Sunday. Heat index values are going to be in the mid to upper 90s and with that we'll see a couple of sporadic showers and storms. Best chance of showers and storms is going to be on Sunday, but can't rule out one or two late in the day on Saturday either. So low 80s, 82 right now in Chattanooga, Cleveland, Athens at 82, 82 in Murphy. At 82 in Chattanooga uh, feels like 88. The heat index is pretty high, about five, six degrees above the actual temperature that you're feeling right now. So 82, our high so far, that is where we are right now. 74 degrees, our low this morning. The clouds, the light showers keeping us well, well below the average high of 91. So 82, the high North Chattanooga as well. 81, Trenton, look at McDonald checking in the rainfall. Frank said 1.1 inches of rain there. 81, Soddy Daisy and 85 in Cleveland. We hit 89 in Murphy. Wow, 88 in Nuneka, 85 in Riceville and 80 in Jasper. Well, here's our muggy meter showing the heat and the humidity as we move through the day today, but a little bit of a dip tomorrow and then back up very muggy. Overall, it's going to stay pretty humid right on through the forecast. And why shouldn't it? It's August. Tomorrow we'll start out a little bit of fog, possibly 70 degrees, and then we'll see it climbing into the low 90s, 92 for the high. But notice again, the heat index is going to be above the average, the actual temperature. Heat index values will be in the mid 90s. So a little on the stifling side. Radar and satellite, uh, we're going to see again, not much in the way of showers tonight or tomorrow. Showers are going to stream by to the west, but late in the day Saturday, we'll see a few pop up showers and thunderstorms. They'll be very hit and miss between say four o'clock and six o'clock and they won't be severe. So we'll just keep an eye on those for heavy rain, maybe some gusty winds with some of those isolated storms popping up. Sunday might see one or two showers in the morning and then not much for the rest of the day, but late in the afternoon, the evening hours. Notice you're going to see this little flare up of scattered showers and thunderstorms. We'll keep an eye on that. No severe weather expected with that either. As we move into Monday, notice an approaching front light rain for the most part. This green represents light showers, heavier rain off to the southwest. Tuesday, you're going to see another flare up of heavy rain to the southwest. And guess what? Wednesday, we'll have some showers again over the Tennessee Valley, but the heaviest rain off to the southwest. So uh, northern Alabama, uh, you might see some pretty significant rainfall over the next few days. For us tonight, drying out humid, patchy fog as we drop into the upper 60s and low 70s. And then tomorrow, hot and humid with a slight chance of an isolated storm late in the day after highs reach the upper 80s and low 90s. Our storm alert seven day forecast showing uh, rain chances increasing as we head into Sunday and Monday. Another chance of dry weather and even some lower humidity on Tuesday. A Tuesday should actually be a pretty nice day and then we'll see that rain chance climbing back up toward the middle of next week. Low 90s Saturday, Sunday and Monday, upper 80s every day next week.